Hi everyone, Sal Capaccio here. I want to show you something I found really cool and interesting how Greg Roman likes to use formation and personnel to set up a defense to do the same thing later, but with a different play out of that formation and personnel. Here's a formation he likes to use a lot. This is two tight ends and a fullback. The two tight ends are Vernon Davis and Asante Cleveland. I'm going to call Cleveland a wingback for our purposes because he's lined up in a wing. I know he can be an H-back, tight end two, whatever, but two tight ends, Davis and Cleveland, and a fullback, Bruce Miller. The two guys we're going to key on on the defense that he's going to set up are number 53, Cavell Connor, and number 50, Manti Teo. Now let's watch what happens here. We'll run it through. They're going to send Cleveland in short motion. Okay, he lines up right in the B-gap. This is power eye football. This is classic Greg Roman, San Francisco 49ers, smash mouth in your face football. If you've ever been around football at the lower levels, you know what power eye football is. Okay, they're going to have Cleveland here go through the B-gap and go right at number 53, Cavell Connor. They're going to have Bruce Miller follow right behind him, and then Gore takes the ball. So Connor's going to do a nice job to step up as you watch. He takes on Cleveland. Boom! And forces that ball inside to Manti Teo, who closes. He gets a piece of Bruce Miller. Miller gets a piece of him. There's a big pile there. It's good for a three, four-yard gain. Everybody actually did a nice job here on both sides of the ball. The offense with a nice play for three, four yards, and the defense to get to where they needed to be. Now, let's watch what happens literally about seven minutes later in game action here. He went right back to this. Looks like the exact same play. It's not. It is the same formation, though. And then you see the short motion. Again, Davis... Cleveland, Miller, Connor, Teow. In short motion, Connor sees it. He sees him coming across. He knows what Cleveland's going to do here, right? Because Cleveland's lined up in the B-gap just like he was literally seven minutes ago of game action. It's fresh in his mind. So he says, what do I need to do? I need to step up in this hole, take this block on, and let my man Manti Teow take on the fullback or get the ball carrier. But what winds up happening is Cleveland goes across the formation, which fools number 53 Connor and number 50 Teo because they just saw this a little while ago. They thought it was coming through this B gap. So Connor steps up. He's way out of position now already. He's already uh, a step behind. And Manti Teo takes the wrong step inside instead of taking on the blocker or the hole to the right where he should have gone. Let it run through a little bit. See this now? Here's Connor. He's really out of position because he should be back here chasing this play already, eyeing Frank Gore. He can't. So the center is going to get a piece of him, knocking him even more off his path because he's so far close to the line of scrimmage. And then Teow should be taking on Bruce Miller with his left shoulder, but instead he goes to the right shoulder. So watch how this turns out. Boom, there goes Gore. Has an easy path to the outside. And here's Connor, still caught up in this wash near the line of scrimmage. He's getting... Uh, taken on by everybody now, and he's going to be way too late. Got to turn his shoulders completely to chase Frank Gore. He's not going to win this race. Boom. He's way behind. There's Frank Gore. Very nice run. This one went for about 12 yards, I think. Let's watch it again. Watch the two linebackers after they just made this play. Boom. They take the wrong steps. They're going inside. Here comes the play to the other side of the formation. Great job by Greg Roman to set these guys up from the previous time that he used this play. He likes to do this a lot. I think he's going to obviously do the same thing in Buffalo with the same personnel that he'll, the same formation, I should say, with personnel like uh, Charles Clay at tight end, Marquise Gray at the H back wing back spot, Jerome Felton at fullback, Shady McCoy at uh, tailback. He's got a lot of different guys at personnel places that he can use this type of play with hopefully the same kind of results for the Buffalo Bills. Thanks a lot for tuning in. I'll have more of this stuff at WGR550.com on Twitter at WGR550 if you follow along and of course at Sal Sports on Twitter as well.